Very excited to be back here. I'm, uh, you know, was looking forward to uh, getting the first skate out of the way and, you know, uh, getting back and seeing all the guys again. Um, you know, it just felt really good to get back out there and I got more comfortable as the skate went along with the guys, got, uh, got used to them again. So, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to this weekend. There's also, you know, a lot of returning faces, like you mentioned, that were on this Moose team last year. Uh, one of them, of course, Jonathan Kovacevic, who you spent a lot of time with, paired with last year. Uh, what does that do for the D-Core, too, just having so many familiar faces when you come back down to play with them? Well, it's very helpful. You know, it, uh, it makes it easier to transition. And, um, you know, you know, you played with, uh, especially last year, I played with a lot of the guys. You know, we were, we were rotating a lot throughout the year trying to uh, figure out some combinations and you know that builds chemistry and especially for years down the road so yeah we got a good decor back there and a good group overall so obviously you don't want to start the you know training camp or the season at all with an injury but when you were rehabbing it and just sort of skating again with the Winnipeg Jets what were some of the skills that the the coaching staff with the Jets or some of the players taught you um, that you can sort of build on now that you're with the Moose um you know I was uh once I got back into skating uh that was a little bit easier. Um, could, could really focus on my conditioning and whatnot. But uh, just working on small little footwork drills and uh, working on quickly releasing the puck and getting it off my stick quick. You know, just small little things like that that can help me uh, overall and down the road. And even off the ice too. I mean, what's this year like going to be for you guys? Just being able to have a little more of a normal um, time away from the rink. You know, last year with you know COVID protocols, it was kind of tough to do dinners or you know anything like that outside of the rink. But now you know having fans back in the stands, being able to go out with the team and you know build chemistry like that. What's that going to be like for you and the rest of the team? Um, I think it's going to be awesome. You know, uh, we'll be able to see each other finally instead of just going home after uh, after you leave the rink and. You know, you're stuck in the hotel or apartment wherever you're living by yourself for the next eight hours. Um, so yeah, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to uh, you know getting to know some of the new guys as well, and even starting to get to know uh, more of the guys from last year. But um, yeah, I'm just. Should be a good season, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. And the fans too, right? I mean, you spend the entire season out here at Belmont's Iceplex. You know, obviously a little different than the facilities you guys have downtown at Canada Life Center. But just even to have fans back in the building, what's that like? Oh, I I, uh, I can't wait. Um, you know, I've been able to fortunate enough to watch a few uh, the Jets games and the preseason games, and you know, see all those fans. It's uh, it definitely brings another energy to the to the building, and you know, it really adds that home ice advantage instead of like last year where. You know, you really didn't have that home ice advantage because, you know, you didn't have anybody on your side. It was just a uh, quiet arena, so really looking forward to it. And then just getting into the, the first game of the season, hopefully against Milwaukee on Thursday. Um, you know, the, the last time the Moose faced Milwaukee, you know, over 60 shots fired on Connor Ingram, a pretty inc incredible performance. But um, just what's going to be the key to success to, you know, having another competitive game with Milwaukee? Um, well, it seems like, uh, you know, they obviously had a good goalie uh, to put up 60 shots and f to be uh, that tight of a game, so... I'm, I'm sure just got to keep getting shots on him and, you know, I'm sure this time more of them will go in.